Hello, hello, hello. Welcome as Sinners to take on Into the Breach. Now, we're a bit slow to start, but Into the Breach currently 1-0 up, having won their pistol round against Sinners. The Romanian Sinners, not the Czech one. And what has proven to be a very skillful fashion. Cypher having a pretty good round himself there as he gets 3k, but here we are in the present. Of course, I'm in Castle Crabber 3. I'm joined by me, myself, and I for this one. And unfortunately, we've got to remove our sponsors from the last stream. <laughs> I, there's always something you forget when you run your own broadcast, and in this case, it's the tramp stamp. <laughs> As we move into what we sit as preparing for another execution. We do so. Into the breach with a bit of a default. Now, in CS, defaults essentially. It's only how you start your round. Yeah, there's nothing wild. It is just standard. Spread out in a position and then execute. And in this case, it's going to be hit on the beat. Robert, good for two before Isk and Cypher were able to trade. With that bomb going down, it goes into a two on two. Blurted for short. And Isk will be able to go into this with Adams. Both on Mac 10s, though. I think we could upgrade to a Galil for Isk, which might make his life a bit easier. As Jaxi jumps to short. This will be heard, but bait flash won't really work as Adam has the first kill. While a bit messy, it's still a kill. I'll leave it all onto Habibi in this one versus two. Now, what we'll do is we'll go back to the start of the soon screen in just a moment so we can fix the um, sponsor issue. Um, that's it. We don't have these guys as sponsors. Um, done that, we should be all good. Adam, clean kill. That'll be a 2-0 lead. We'll be back momentarily. Okay, I do apologise about that. <laughs> Should be all fixed. Um, yes, okay, here. <laughs> back we are into the breach versus Sinners. Of course, this is going to be a, an interesting one, really, from Sinners. As this is a kind of the first time this Romanian org has really tried to breach out into the... What, in this case, would be the international scene. Of course, with us being in the 5-0 bracket, the teams, I mean, they're already getting main. Right now, they're battling for that. For Cypher, clean kill onto Psycho to start things off with a trade there from the Deagle of Habibi. It's only a matter of time before the Max 10s start farming onto these members with Kunker. Incredible Dota hero, just currently hiding over the connector. Through the smoke, no kill yet onto him though, was just ready to follow it up. Tadpole sees them coming, he can't fight them yet. Through the smoke, Isk shifts up. Chunk up, gets that kill. Try to double down onto Tadpole here, and with a bit of a dink to start things off. Dobbo and CT will be there to support his teammate, though. Good for one, good for two. Dobbo there to assist with the bait and switch, giving into the breach that 3 0 lead. Over to Sinners as they move into another investment. We see the rifles come out. There's a bit of a U-tool there to. A bit, a bit of U-tool to assist them. As into the breach, move into what will be AKs around the board. There's a bit of util. That's about it from this side. With flashes going over connector. And um, while accompanied by Cypher, we'll sit to try and battle for connector control against Roberts. With into the breach, mainly getting ready for what is a bit of a mid to A split here. This duel for Robert really is going to be a make or break here as they shift into the smoke. And there's Robert for both. Cypher and Adam, they line up, delivering a wonderful little weapon, weapon team from him. Well, Tadpole trades onto one. Tadpole trades onto two. That mitigates that early damage done before Psycho keeps them ahead. Another oh, quick little kill there. It means that these mollies land in CT. It should really start to force this side away. As Jack C hopes for timing. On short, sees him coming. Isk the first casualty of that endeavour, leaving Dobbo with a 1v3. Now for Dobbo, it's a very winnable endeavour. He's one of the four. Fortunately, Psycho makes sure that it's only a brief one. The Sinners, they put themselves on the board with their first round. Now, I wish I could tell you the vetoes. That's a really good question. Fortunately, we don't know them. I believe that it was into the breach that kind of started with the standard bands of Dust2 and, I believe, Nuke. 
with no clue what Sin has had to hell. So here's something that we have noticed actually in a lot of the um, a lot of the games that have happened in this playoff bracket is teams aren't really Sinner's pick Mirage, okay. What we've seen recently is a lot of people they're not banning uh, based on what their opponents are good at, they're banning what they don't like. So you're hoping that your map pick is better than your best maps, better than your opponent's best map. And um, it's a really weird mentality to be playing it with. Um, usually I would expect to see kind of targeted bans from a team that knows everything. But Into the Breach, a relatively new team. Only been together for, I think, two, three months now. So they have a map pool, but certainly not one that can target Vito. Not that it matters here, because on Mirage, they're about to go 4 1 up. Of course, we've got to speak to both Adam and Tadpole before the game started. Tadpole predicting a 16 10, then a 16 8. Now, either he knows something I don't, or he has got some incredible foresight. Adam predicted them losing 16 0 on both maps. So I reckon Adam, unfortunately, maybe not quite having the confidence required. But Tadpole, on the flip side, seems pretty happy with a 2 0 here, as into the breach go 4 1 up. We'll wait to see what Sinners move on to with what should be a force buy around these weapons. I mean, Habibi can drop, Kunku can buy anyway, and Robert can go. What should be standard chest armor as we have a quick pause. First one of the series. Now, I don't know about you guys, but in, in our, um, in most of my casts, in a pause, we just ask the standard question. How are you all doing today? I hope you're having a wonderful day. It's been bloody hot in the UK, that's for sure. Yeah, it's, no, it's been a quite a nice day. I hope you all have enjoyed it that used to be brief tactical oh, tactical pause actually from I assume sinners they're the ones who have been struggling a bit here into the breach. Straight execution into mid. Bit of a fake from Adam before they just barrel it to B. Hey, I mean, why change what isn't... Why, why change what's working as they go for a straight hit onto this site? Kunk the only man who could be in to defend them, and I'm kind of surprised that Sinners is still only playing one player on this B site, considering how successful his last couple of rounds were. Cyphron's Jack C. Incredible read for him to jump through the window there. Dolo almost faking the aggression into the door to force him out, and like that, the false positive means that they're able to just secure a site. We've got Sinners who, with three players kind of spread around CT and Jungle, have got no choice really but to back off and save, especially with no money in the bank either. As into the breach, we're going to go 5 1 up, a solid start from them. And for Psycho, it's a nice shot to start things off. Fortunately, it won't be any recovery to the round. As this comes up from ramp, he'll be able to flank this orb, but no one being taken into the next round. Sinners going to be pretty gutted before that. Now, we move into what is going to be a fairly tough buy from the members of Sinners. I like the fact that they're forcing around the saved weapons. It shows they want to keep the tempo, but once again, their money is looking pretty low. Into the breach, if they start going 6, 7, 1 up, Sinners have got a weak car eventually. And once they do, Into the breach are just going to bite at that. And they're going to be able to have a, what would be a solid lead. And, well, with Dobbo still on a max 10, he's looking to increase his money even more. There's the breach fight. And there's the opening isk, shutting down Robert. And once again, a man goes down. And for on Sinners, there's... Dolo deploys that molly straight through that smoke. Should land right on the Psycho there. And now, we wait 
me attack once again. Isk joined by Dobbo with a charge straight in. Psycho, I mean, it's good for one, but Kunka rotation is met by Adam. Leaving us into the four on two. And I tell you what, this is turning into a, dare I say, it's a bit of a stomp. As Adam sits the top triple, Habibi beat. will lose his head and, well, into the breach, looking solid at the moment. And it's weird to think that um, this far into the bracket, the map they played in the round before this was actually a bit closer. So that kind of says a fair bit about this side as Sinners, of course, kind of unfortunately named, I guess, considering how the Czech side kind of took off before the Romanian one did. Luckily, Angel at Hellcase.org is able to uh, give us a bit of insight, requesting a timeout in the Cozy TV chat. We'll see. We'll see if his kind of beckoning herald will be heard. And I think he's not wrong. I mean, Sinners definitely needs something to change. As Adam instantly with another opening. Cypher, he's going to be more than ready to try and take an engagement with the members over on short. As they hard clear this positioning con. Jaxi. He too just take it out. For now, Habibi. As they get ready to swing into it. There's the attack. Good for one before Cypher trades. And of course, in a five on three, of course you can take trades like that. Couldn't go. Now, this time he could really do with that fleet. However, <laughs> I suspect he's currently in the wrong eSport. As this holds for the swing. Nothing's come yet. to follow up. Adam for one. It's all on Robert. And as he comes into the flank, I mean, it's a nice kill onto this. Certainly helps. Fortunately, he won't be able to warrant any kill yet. So he's into the breach. There he goes 7-1 up. This is turning into what may be a bit of a stump. Follow up. So let's get deployed. And with no kill yet, it's the first time in a while we've seen sinners not have to go a man down. But the worry is Adam, already in window, has got a perfect positioning for a flank onto Robert. Well, Robert, I think, suddenly suspects that he may not be able to stop him. His mollies go off. Jaxi can be accompanied by Kunka. That counter molly goes down. The flashes as well should deter into the breach. But this whole time, Adam. Slow and, well, in this case, ready for a peek into CT. Good for the first. Traded by Psycho. I mean, it helps. But in a 4 on 4, it kind of favours the T side 4 on 4s because usually it means that the CTs have to fan one of their players away from mid to go for the 2 2 stack. In this case, they go for a 1 3, but mid's still open. Means that into the breach, you're going to have an easy time getting to this site. And a psycho just backs off and gets to a more and more passive position in CT, knowing full well that holding the site is going to be a fruitless effort. And with that, into the breach, not until they secure the site, but they've also got another lurking member, this time in the form of Isk. Bomb fired on kind of default triple. Not sure. Just to say we get a kill. Dobbo, well, he does trade. I remain members from CT. Ready to swing down. They try and spam it. I don't to do so yet. It's Jaxi to get the first kill. Cypher just dancing around this position. He's got Robert there to assist his teammates. And because of that, Isk is there for the first. Robert trades. Two on two now. Or two on one even. These flashes are deployed. Isk throws one of his own. He gets in Zircon. Psycho. Okay, to jump up to ticket. As Robert taps that bomb once. Swing out. Psycho. It's a quick kill. Giving Sinners a second round there.
one trade. While Messi from Tadpole. Don't have to worry as Dobbo reveals himself in apps. Still no kill yet though. Is Adam this time seen as he looks into jungle? It's Robert Hardcore's mid. There's the kill. Adam taken down on the flank. Dobbo revealing himself now as he tries to swing out from apps. But Robert able to double down. He's into the breacher left in this two on four with Habibi. Peeking into ramp, Tadpole with his knife out is caught there. So BB shuts down Isk just like that. We see Sinners string two rounds together for well, the first time in the series. Bear in mind we are in the first map. Their map pick of... I assume it's their map pick. We've been told by LVN that it's their map pick, so we believe him. And their map pick... Barrage. Now, the aggression out from out gives Dobbo the opening. Robert also tagged down in the process, but not killed yet. Eventually, Dobbo finishes the job there. Well, headshot. It's just overkill, isn't it? As Adam is ready to swing out from jungle once again with an insane flank. Habibi. 1v3. What can be done here? Maybe shuts down Adam. It falls into the 1v2. As that bomb goes off, into the breach. Gotta be making it 8. Let's just prove it as a solid start. into the breach preparing for a straight execution and we haven't seen a straight execution in this game usually it has got a crux in mid which means that for Jaxi probably won't be able to commit to a fight fully knowing that connector could be open as here comes the set's piece smokes the BB sat on triple can't see anyone yet Maybe there's some teammates volley actually let's firebomb land cypher through the smokey annihilate psycho as they follow it up, Jaxi on bench, he too is taken down by Tadpole, the bomb will be planted, there is however Kuzuka who also goes through, only to meet his death as well. Oh, down with the ship they say as Robert swings out, Adam, good for him, leaves to BB in the 1 versus 3, and as he sits over on CT, little does he know, Adam lurking, waiting and pouncing. As into the breach go 9-3 up, we're seeing what is spiralling into a very one-sided affair from into the breach here. Granted, if Sinners can make this, if they can just get four or five rounds, it's doable. But we say doable with kind of open brackets because into the breach, they seem pretty damn solid. Once again, in a default from them. Not committing anywhere yet. Frisk, just trying to find an opening. But with no follow-up, with no full push, he is going to be left guessing, at least for now.
Now sinners prepare the engagement. Tadpole has Habibi shut down the first member. Psycho also chimes in as this shuts down Habibi. It's a really strong opening actually from this side. As it goes into a four on three, we've got Psycho good for another before Tadpole trades. And as he goes to the plant, luckily Kunka won't swing straight away. The bomb does go down, leaving Tadpole in the one v three. He's the first member, good for the first tag down and killed by Kunka. Means the sinners, they convert the round with the deagles there. Really, really strong performance. And, well, as so they make it four, they mean that at least next round they have a decent start. Good for one, Robert there to trade. Here's an opening for the four on four. I hit the engagement for now. No kill coming through yet. Shuts down another. It falls into the four on two. We have Cypher good for the first. It all's left all on Habibi. It's had a, it's a clean kill to end it. It's into the breach. They go 10 4 up now with Sinners. Heading straight back to the. What is straight back to just a brief conception of Mirage because they have. This is their map pick. The fact that this has gone this badly for them is really worrying. Shuts them down. Maybe he falls to Adam. I'm going to try the rotation. Eleven to four. That is just such a one-sided half. I mean, they might have something to work with if we see a. I can only imagine a an incredible half from Sinners. But the reality is, I see this being a bit of a stomp. We move on to our next map, and the next map, considering it being the map pick of Into the Breach, I suspect we may have a what could be our quickest series so far.
now into this pistol round. Sinners. Default smokes go out, and they do have four flashes to ease them out, and as they expended fairly frivolously, Tad Bolt shuts down the first member in CT, and rather than either fighting, he just gets the hell out of there. Jack C will be replanting verse, reverse default. As the retake comes into CT, Isk expecting the swing from Shorts, and as he gets the first member, but Adam from CT is good for another. They see Kunkka, Dobbo, clean kill onto him, leaves Jack C in a 1v5, and... As suspected, into the breach. A solid defense there as they go 12 4 up. the first member. It's Robert taken down. It's that Bosch shuts down her BB. Boat going for the high ground. Still hasn't seen this first member yet, and this player on B is making enough noise to draw another rotation. So Habibi, a bit of a fake working to his avail here. As Kunka comes up from C, comes up from Con, that is. He's Cypher. Instantly loses his head to it. And Cypher able to double down. A solid game from him now as he goes 19 to 8. Darbo does see Habibi, but Habibi, I mean, while his position is great, I mean, he's using an AK. It's awesome. He's still not been able to make much work. As this just kills him, it's a fruitless task. Because Jack C might even be able to get up short as Cypher tries to finish the job. He's left with a eagle and relatively low HP. As well, he does shut down Cypher. It's all fruitless. As Adam finishes the job into the breach, they go 13-4 up as Sinners move into another investment. The deals come out, but even then, it's a tough spot for them. Down this. So it goes fourteen four. Let's see what can be done in response here. Follow up from Sinners as they hit their full buy. The issue is this may be their only buy. As into the breach, they prepare their defense once again. Tadpole in connector. There's the attacks coming. This gun goes good for the first. Cypher, he's able to trade as Adam takes them down. Psycho is able to follow it through. I like that with a three on three. Sinners decide to congregate together, stack up, and in this case, they shift through apps into the awaiting arms of Dobbo. This M4 has proven to be lethal in the past, unfortunately. The AK, maybe a bit more so. As Dobbo falls, man advantage falls in the favour of the Romanian side for the first time this half. We'll see Habibi up in hand, shot down. It's a very clean kill for him, leaving Tadpole in a 1v3. Coming up from behind, he saves the M4 of Dobbo. I mean... One kill would be great here, two would be some damage, three is looking unlikely, as Sinners will hit five off the back of this.
as we get ready for a follow-up. That's 14. Five sinners. They need to be playing flawlessly if they want any hope of even progressing to double digits. For into the breach, I mean, all this takes is a good round from, say, Isk or Cypher, and like that, they're on match point. With a BB, ready to run boost Jaxi out. Never mind. Both members want the run boost, neither want to forego it, and as it fails anyway, they just run out mid. They look for an opening. Luckily for them, Isk isn't waiting. Instead, though, into the breach with a quite a big stack into the jungle here. There's a swing. Jaxi's there for the first. And Isk shuts down the second. A wonderful opening there as into the breach go two men out. And with the rotation of Kunka from under, that nail has right on him there. He's just able to avoid it with that bounce. The Stubber waits for Robert to swing out. So he does so away to his death. Let's come and get. Sits by the bench. Sam Holt gets that kill. Like that, Isk. Sees the rotation of Robert. Scoped in. Does Robert risk the peak? He does, but Isk misses his shot. Uncharacteristic to say the least. And uncharacteristic to miss it twice, but hey. It looks like Robert feels lucky, Punk, as he goes for a repeat. He too falls and into the breach. They go 15 5 up. Sinners left with a, another investment, a, another opportunity to try and pull ahead but even then it'll be a tall bloody order this shuts down jack c instantly we see the man advantage make that two man advantage and what we thought would be a well what we thought would be an absolute war has turned into a, a bit of a butchery as Sinners, I mean, sure, one kill is great. Adam, by some miracle, gets that second there. Isk finishes the job, and like that, they take map one, 16 to 5. We're going to go to a quick little five minute break. When we return, we'll see map two of Overpass, and we'll see if Into the Breach are going to be able to continue this irreconcilable ferocity.